Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go out to thrift stores, or sometimes I go to estate sales, or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist, and I'm looking for interesting things, or things that just happen to appeal to me personally, or things that I think you would find interesting. And then I take them home, find out as much as I can about them, and then tell you guys about them. So, here's what I've got today. I'm pretty sure this is going to show up very nicely on the camera. <laughs> I have a, a little box little wooden box with the most unusual decoration. It is inlaid with mother, mother of pearl and this lovely brass wire. And it really is very, very nice. It's uh, much better. It's, it's like properly inlaid and then smoothed out and everything on the outside. The inside, as far as I can tell, has been left quite rough. And it's, you know, hand turned. Very interesting little thing. Now, I bought this for $3.50 in a thrift store. And I basically just picked it up and I thought, wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful design. That's got to be something interesting. I thought, and, and then I immediately put it back down again because... <laughs> because I realized it was kind of sticky and tacky <laughs> and I was very much in like debating about whether I was going to buy them or not but I thought you know what I know it's made of wood I know it's going to be difficult to clean I'm just going to have a go for three dollars and fifty cents I can take a, a risk okay anyway let's measure it up real fast I can eyeball this now it's about five and a half inches across and once again, eyeballing it, maybe about four, four and a quarter, four and a half, no, maybe four inches high. Yeah. So, I mean, it's fairly small. It's not really, it's, it's and again, left off from the inside, it's probably just designed to be a trinket box and not really much else. And it has just about defeated my Google Foo. I kind of thought that it would be easier to find out information about it because it's something that is quite distinctive. It is a box, obviously, with inlaid mother of pearl and these enormous swirl designs in brass. I thought, you know, that's good. I thought that would be an easier find. Like, no, this definitely proved challenging and also proved challenging to clean. Like, you know, the common wisdom is, especially with old kind of stuff like this, is that you generally don't want to clean the, the patina off. But I got to say, when I pick this up, I'm just like, oh man, I'm, that is so unpleasant to hold. I'm basically sure no one's going to want this unless it's actually been properly cleaned. Um, now I've cleaned the lid just about because you can see there that's quite dark and everything but there's no tackiness there it just feels like smooth wood unfortunately this is a different story that bit there is just about clean you can see that it's quite a bit lighter but if you can see that where it's kind of shiny there and where it's not there yeah that's the stuff that feels really manky um, and I just realized that you probably you're not Irish and don't really know that word it doesn't feel good it feels like this like sticky and nasty and, and it really does need to be cleaned and then I've got to get rid of that somehow because it's unpleasant it is really really not nice it just feels disgusting <laughs> like I don't want to touch it now I just want to hold it here and here because I know that I've cleaned those areas and they just they feel okay and I mean, yeah, it's like it's very dark here as opposed to this color here, which is much like a little bit brighter. And I've been asking myself, it's like, are you actually just like destroying the surfaces, and taking the stain off and everything? And I'm like, I have to assume I'm not because I'm pretty sure the box was not designed to feel sticky. It just, eh, no. You can see where it's all dull and nasty. I, I, my guess, I, I think, although I'm not 100% sure on this, is that it was possibly just kept in a kitchen or it was kept around something where it just attracted a lot of grease. Other possibility, it was around somebody who smoked a lot. It doesn't actually smell, which is something, but it, there's a lot of, there's a lot of kind of, you know, options there for how it could have acquired that level of, of grunginess. Yeah. Um, just for reference, the most that I'm doing to actually clean this is I'm using dish soap and cold water um, and th this has kind of been becoming a little bit more important because like I need to be very careful of the inlay okay the, when I actually picked it up and I got it home and I realized that the inlay was slightly damaged like some of it has popped up a tiny little bit and obviously it's not meant to do that it's supposed to just sit flush um I still feel it a little bit here you know 
that it's not entirely flush and I think that's probably just a, a case of it being old. That is a little defect there in the mother of pearl as far as I can see. So essentially what I did is I took a plastic pen. I didn't dare do dare do this with anything else. It's just I need to be gentle. So I took a plastic pen and just basically pressed down and pushed it down again back into the little inlay channels and kept the basically pushing the brass back into its right spot. It seems to be properly fixed now, which is nice. You can still see that there's a few bits there that I've missed. I need to go over them again. It's not much, but it's just more irritating than anything else because obviously it's supposed to lie flat. And I was considering like why exactly that would have happened. And again, my best guess is in, it was in the wrong environment. And if it was in a hot environment and or a temperature that fluctuated a lot, it wouldn't take much for the brass to start to work, work its way loose because obviously it's metal. It expands when it gets warm. Yeah. But that, okay, so that, that's basically the reason why the most I'm doing to clean this is like dish soap and cold water. I don't want to have hot water that might make the brass expand and pop out again. I don't want that to happen. That would just cause further damage to this lovely inlay. I don't want that. You know, that's that's important. We've got to preserve it. So I've been trying to be as gentle as I can. And you can see that it's like at least I'm getting it down to like that shiny shininess, which is presumably what the original stain was underneath all that grunge. So we, sh we shall see. Hopefully it'll turn out all right. I'll be putting it up. Like I have it up online now as it is, but I think it's still due to be cleaned several times more and once I've done that I'll probably update the photos then I'm not expecting this to sell very soon anyway so having said all that again I bought it for three dollars and fifty cents how much is it actually worth and what is it because yes I could talk about like what it is but like where did it come from what's what's the deal with it and guys my google food was not up to the task of this one my best guess and this is based on hive mind agreement more than anything else is that this may be, may be Turkish. There's one listed here which has a, a good number of similarities, you know, in the kind of style of Mother Pearl. It's got the same, you know, broadly speaking, the same kind of inlay. Looks a little bit like this, except this is obviously far more fancy. Found another one here as well. This is listed as, listed as a Turkish Mother Pearl box. And again, that's slightly similar to this. And you can see, obviously, that the colour here is much brighter than it is on this one. So... And so I'm also, you know, another reason why I'm thinking that this is actually just kind of grungy and this is what it should look like. But we'd still just have very, very little to go on. It This just seems to be like, there are people online who have these boxes and they kind of just all agree that they're Turkish. Whether that's actually true or not, I really don't know. If you actually just do a search for a Turkish Mother of Pearl wooden box, you get these kind of... These examples, which are more kind of mosaic kind of stuff, like geometric patterns and everything, not the swirls. I did go over to eBay as well. eBay has really nothing, nothing similar. There's an antique thing one there. It's the Ottoman Empire, as far as I can tell. Like just, you know, $300. That's not, not that. <laughs> but do we have any actual examples that look like this box? No. We've really just got this. That's, you know, disappointing. Treasure chest with Mother of Pearl in lane. They don't even say it's Turkish, so they really have no idea. I, I get the feeling that it might be a kind of a Middle Eastern kind of thing. You know, Turkish is a possibility at least, but I really don't have any more than that. Um, Yeah, it's a nice object, but we don't, you know, the information is lacking. So we really just have to price it based on essentially what it is. And... I would say it's probably worth maybe $20 to $30 Canadian, $20, you know, $15, $20 or whatever US. It's not not a lot. It's nice. I'm pretty sure someone's going to like it once I actually clean it up. <sighs> yeah. I still think it's an unusual little object and I'm certainly glad that I did pick it up because underneath all the grunge, I mean, the colour itself is quite is quite nice. And I think once it's properly cleaned up, it's going to look very nice. It's going to look like fantastic. It's a very unusual one. It's the only round one that I can find. All the rest are square or heart or whatever, different color, or they're a different shape. So, here we go. That is my small joyful thing for the day. I hope you guys like it as well. And thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.